Man, I got one of the nicer ones. Oh, well, you can't even see the driveway. This lovely woman reached out to me recently as she purchased a house and she did not have a lawnmower. I asked for some photos of her yard and I couldn't help but scratch my head when she wrote back and said she had a lawnmower that the previous owners left, but it was chained to the deck. And sure enough, here it is. We communicated online so she knew that we were coming and she was super excited. And all of you are going to be really excited when you see the reveal here at the end. I'm beyond blessed to share this journey with each of you and be able to help others. And I can only hope that each of you enjoy these videos, share them out, and you pay it forward to those in need. We just arrived in Kalamazoo. We got a yard here. Uh, some of this grass here sticking up. It's getting really tall. But this stuff over here is getting really, really long as well. So what we're going to do is mow all this, uh, trim up that a little bit along here then lots of edging here guys lots of edging so we go along the back here definitely a nice house looks like we have the property here with some vines then right down through here this looks to be the driveway at some point it's like a, a driveway you can't even see the driveway
So Rose just got home. We'll talk to her in a minute and get the big reveal. Guys, we want to show you this yard. This was not super tall over here. However, it was pretty thick with those long stringy things as you've seen in the front. But look at this, guys. You can literally see where the grass used to be. See the sidewalk right there? Went way out there where that grass. So right here, that's every bit of a foot and a half they gained there. And probably another six inches here just from edging. Similar thing here. You can see there's a little bit out here on the edges. We trimmed that up. We also did the curbs, made the curbs look nice and tidy. Trimmed all this up. You can just see all the layover on this. Trimmed around here, edged around there, up through there as well. Then we left some of the plants back here because she recently moved in and she wanted to, I don't know if that's a plant, but we probably could have cut it down, but I just left it to be safe. I also, I did trim down all the leaves and weeds Maybe this stuff's poison ivy. But we trim this down and trim this up a little bit. This fence was removed, but she said that they're gonna probably redo some of this and take the fence out. Similar right here, we didn't wanna mess with this because she decided to kind of leave it. Then down here, check out these plants that she has, but wait until you see the makeover on this little cement pad, which she would like to use, I believe, as her driveway. So you can see all these plants through here. But then look at this, look how well this cleaned up. Now there's a gap right there. I ran out of weed eater string, uh, but there's a gap there that we may stop back by in the future, clean that up for. Just all these plants over here is just absolutely crazy. Then we preserved the landscaping the best we could. Definitely some uneven ground here, but she has some nice flowers that are coming up. It's pretty nice. Here's the other end of that sidewalk. You can see guys, right through here, easily two feet gained on this. Not to mention, she gained a whole second portion of that driveway. Well, let's stop up and knock on the door and see what Rose has to say. Hey Rose. Hey. Hey, so we're just uh, finishing up. Let me get down here so I'm not right in your face. But uh, we're just finishing up and why don't you take a look at it? Oh my gosh, you guys are so you incredible. Think. Yeah, no, I really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. We're we're uh, blessed to be able to help you and definitely I love the house. Thank it's like you. A, it's almost reminds me of a historic house. and It's a little over 100 years old. That's so crazy. It's my first house and uh, I did not realize I had this much sidewalk. It's awesome. Thank you guys so much. No problem. I really appreciate it. You guys did amazing, like amazing work, and I appreciate the detail. Thank you for being conscious of my flowers on both sides. Like, yeah, we didn't want to kill any of the the milkweed or whatever all that stuff is. Well, and the roses just bloomed like yesterday. Yeah, so, so we, that's we kept those. We don't we don't want to cut those down either. Yeah, you guys are awesome. So I man, you know, I, I genuinely know this. Kalamazoo needs more people like you guys. Like this is awesome, and this is what community is about, and I really appreciate it. Because uh, first time homeowner, and I don't have a lawnmower that works right now. Yeah. <laughs> so no, we're we're glad uh, to help, and we we appreciate it. And let us know if you know of anybody else that needs help. I absolutely will, absolutely right. will. Um, and I, I, I would love you to send me the link to this because I want to post this on on social media. And I don't do a ton of that, but you, this is worth it. You guys are awesome. So all right, really appreciate it. Well, thanks so much, Eric. Thank you. Appreciate I really it. appreciate it, man. Thank you.